Hello and welcome back to the channel, Animated Alex here. Now my Manic Miner journey. I created level 1, as you know if you've been following the channel. I first of all used the character set off the keyboard using the Spectrum from Retro Games Limited. It didn't come out too bad, I was quite pleased with the results using screen strings and just normal characters off the keyboard, I got quite good results. But then I moved on to user-defined graphics. So I started creating my own character, making a small bouncing ball as the main character, replacing Minor Willy, which probably was a mistake. And, um, well, I continued on with it, and I got good results. It looked okay. Wasn't quite how I wanted it, though, but I kept on going, and I created a level two. Now, if you're a Jet Set Willy fan, you'll recognise this from the Nightmare Room in Jet Set Willy. It was one of my favourite rooms in that game. Okay, my pig doesn't have the wings like the Jet Set Willy one had, but I created a little graphic pig, had him jumping around on platforms, collecting the keys. And as you can see, I actually introduced minor willy into it as one of the nasties gave him yellow ink and um yeah there he was and that kind of made me start thinking maybe i should be using minor willy in this challenge of mine because after all he is the main character of manic minor so I kept on going and I created a level three using the bouncing ball again. This was my own creation. This wasn't based on a Manic Miner level or a Jet Set Willy level. It was my own idea and I think it kind of worked. It was fun. It was good. You know, it did what I wanted to do. Again, sluggish, slow, you know, it, the, it was playable but missing that oomph of speed. And that's when I decided it was time to rethink the whole process and I started again. So I deleted level two, I deleted level three, I redone all the graphics again. I started to create the main character, which is Minor Willy. He had to be in it. That was the whole point of the challenge was to do a manic minor creation you know so i had to have him as the main character so i reprogrammed everything everything got reprogrammed and i concentrated purely on level one like i said got rid of level two got rid of level three introduced music my friend damien helped me out with some music which we put into the program as well and it worked really well and the end result you've all seen it if you've been following the channel that is turned out all right okay it was a little bit slow but as you can see kind of got that manic minor feel to it now i've got the correct character in there minor willy he had to be in there after all like i said he makes manic minor so the question is can you make manic minor using sinclair basic well, I hope this answers it. I've kind of done it, but only one level. Maybe 20 levels, you'd be pushing your luck a bit, I think. You'd have to start looking at machine code, and then you just as well not bother and just play the original. But I gave it a go, and yeah, there we have it. I think in part four of this journey, I'm going to try and compile this with a machine code compiler and see what results we get. But for now, as always, thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this little journey of mine and I'm open for suggestions for the next challenge. What else can I do with Sinclair Basic? What other games, the well-known classics out there, can I recreate them using Sinclair Basic? Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you later.